Hello and welcome guys. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome to other side. I wanted to play this game for a long time since it launched actually. <laughs> But I didn't have the... I hadn't had the opportunity. But... Game went into a sale. I bought it. Song is a banger, right? Then, uh, finally I bought it. And now we have the opportunity to experience it together. I only um, I booted it once to see uh, if it was working. And now uh, I'm going to experience it for the first time with you guys. I haven't played anything. It's going to be a completely new game. Uh, there's no other side experience. Sacrificing a daughter is the only way to heal another one. Dream. Enjoy a less punishing but still challenging journey. Your daughters recover 50% HP every new day. You get a free resurrection token at the start of each run. We're going to struggle a little bit with the sounds. Okay. I feel that we need to go for the original, the nightmare, uh, to make our decision making uh, more important and more relevant. So this is how we're going to we're going to do this. He needs us. The other has come for the Chosen One, and soon the Veil will break. The suffering cannot continue. <laughs> None of your pathetic actions can stop me. So this is kind of like a roguelike, from what I uh, heard of. You, you like start to lose your daughters and each time they get stronger and you unlock like new archetypes, new classes or something like that. Suffering festers within him. The edge of reality frays. Each battle takes more and more out of me. The other could shred the veil and devour our world. Will you stay with me until the end? I'll give what I can, what I have left. Let it go here and no further. Watch, my friend. Once I move to strike, the first will fall. Uh, health points, their health points, HP, your unit dies, the HP reach zero. Action points, uh, down below. 
Most actions cost AP. Move to the red square. The farther you move, the more action points AP it will cost you. So the farther we move, more AP we spend. The other sends more against us. Select the attack skill. Instant action skills are played immediately and cost you action points. So... How do we select it? By clicking it? Timeline. The timeline orders all units by their initiative and moves forward whenever a unit ends their turn. A unit can play when it reaches zero on the left side of the timeline. So yeah, this is basically like an initiative order. So, okay, I see. End your turn. Your unit will move to 50 on the timeline and recover all their AP for next turn. So, all right. Delayed action, massive shot. So, timeline. Delayed skills immediately end the unit's turn and their powerful effects are activated later on the timeline. The cultist is preparing a delayed massive shot. So, it's he's basically charging. So, I am assuming we could interrupt it. Select shoot charge. The skill will delay the target's next action. It will also cancel their delayed attack massive shot. Okay. Okay, so the strategic element is already uh, surfacing here. Uh, interrupt skills. Interrupt skills can stop a single enemy attack and immediately launch a counter attack. Warning. Interrupt skills cost health points, HP. Select Vengeful Stance. It will interrupt the next melee attack and launch a devastating counter attack, but it costs HP. Okay, so we have skills that cost AP and skills that cost uh, HP. Activate Vengeful Stance, target your own active unit to launch interrupt skills. Your unit will move at uh, 50 on the timeline. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's end turn. So we use the stance to counter and kill it. Okay, so the things are getting. I can stop the attack before it happens. Spear Tornado. So this is an AoE attack. Target active unit to trigger the area, the area of effect attack. So it costs 60 AP. Delayed action, massive shot, melee attack. Action points burst. Your unit will go into burst if they start using their last 50 AP. This pushes your unit back to 100 on the timeline, so be careful to burst only when you need an extra move or to do a killing blow to a wounded enemy. So, all right. Uh, some skills like shoot charge can delay the next time an enemy will play to give you more time to control on the timeline. To give you more control on the timeline, okay. So basically, uh, dodge is the percentage chance a unit has of avoiding an attack. 
Armor is a unit's protection. It represents the damage deducted from each attack received. Armor and dodge can be modified by ally, ally or enemy skills. So always pay attention to skill descriptions. Timeline. Remember, the timeline is the key to winning battles. Powerful delayed skills end your turn. Unit turn immediately and activate later. Interrupt skills prepare unit to block and attack and strike back after the turn. Some skills delay the next uh, time an enemy will play to give you more control. Using your last 50 AP will provoke a burst, pushing your unit to 100 on the timeline. Gift gives me such strength. Okay, so this guy, uh, which is the one down here, is going to be the next one to act. It has 100, uh, 422 HP. Then the Plague Doctor. Then this one is going to be the last one. So we kind of need to go for this one, right? So let's see if I got this right. Okay, so this happens. Then that guy needs to move, but I'm off uh, outside of his range. So I should be fine. Uh, now, I need to slash this guy. Then I could Vengeful Stance again. Because I know he's coming for an a melee attack. I'll preserve AP. Well, it fucking sucks that I had like more enemies to deal with. And they attack on reveal from what it seems. So we're going to slash. We're bursting? Really? Oh, I didn't I didn't uh, do the I didn't do the vengeful stance. That sucks. I didn't do the vengeful stance. I need to get used to having to click on the units to actually do the stuff. Yeah, lost a lot of HP thanks to that. Really sucks. This guy is melee, right? So we're going to... Slash... Going to vengeful stance, clicking this time. And I'm going to backspace. Backspace, finish turn. This is a parry into counter. That guy doesn't have the range to reach us, so we're fine. Reinforce armor, really. Uh, we're just moving uh, slash, I think. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I think I'll just keep slashing. And we'll do vengeful stance. More enemies are coming. How many enemies will we face on this mission? What's that? He is here. The chosen one. I don't want to harm you, little one. But we want to harm you. Very much. Holy shit. <laughs> So aggressive. I have failed. You most of all. I fought with every bone and sinew. All I am, I leave to you. Take it. My blood is my legacy. May it spill forth into an army to rend suffering from its host. All right. City. It's not enough. How soon will you hatch? I want you in this world. I want to see what you can do to those that hurt me, to those you will hurt. I can't wait. Do not despair. My life lights your path. Do you remember our journey together? This time, let me guide you. You will wield my memories like a sword, and with them, grow our army. The Age of Shattering. This dark corner of existence is a harbinger. Soon all will follow. The very fabric of our reality is threatened. My last breath is near. My daughters, you are of me. Put an end to suffering. Other side is a game about sacrifice and tough choices. <laughs> I'm kind of used to that. Progress is auto-saved, so there is no turning back. The enemies in other side are lethal, and every mistake will cost you dearly. Your daughters will die, and you will lose only to rise stronger again. The game expects players to fail, but failure is not the end. After ending a run, you restart with additional bonuses and even the ability to resurrect Falling Daughters for a cost. So that's basically a roguelike uh, mechanic. From this side of the veil, I can give you my daughters, birthed from my soul. You will need them to fight. This is a chrono map. What memory has this agony uncovered? This is the chrono map. From here, you'll be able to manage your daughters in the inner void, 
select your next mission from the attack menu and end the day. Let's enter the inner void to germinate a new daughter. All right, so inner void. This is how we create our new daughters. Welcome to the inner void. Here you can manage your daughters. Enter the birthing pool. Here you can manage your daughters. Germinate daughter. Uh, germinate a daughter. Creating a new daughter costs 200 vitae, which is basically blood. Uh, I know that because I played vampire. Vitae or uh, a, a word like that means blood for the vampires. So Vitae is basically blood. Uh, we need 200 blood to germinate a daughter. We have 600, so we have enough. Uh, random, should we... We can rename our daughters or we can give them a random name. So we'll just click next. Uh, the Blade Master excels in melee duels. The Soul Slinger supports her sisters from afar. Soul Slinger, that's a really cool class name. And the Shield Bearer protects her sisters. Assign a class to your daughter. Choose wisely, as it cannot be changed later. Uh, what were the other ones? So we have a Shield Bearer. A soul slinger, a blade master. Peace, I think it's a good name for a shield bearer. So let's come from that. The others are converging, warping reality. You must stop suffering from feeding. Go, close the first synapse. So now we selected the attack. Uh, new missions or synapses synapses appear each day. Beat a synapse to close it. So we need to beat it to close it. Uh, daughters, one out of three. Uh, rewards, 150 blood or vitae, uh, something, 25 something, and 100 XP. We only have this one. So like we're in a tutorial level here. Uh, mission details. Here you can view mission details and choose the daughters you want to send. Hunt all creatures. So this is a mission where we need to kill everything. Uh, yeah, so we have uh, one of each. Uh, it's a good thing I picked the shield bearer. Now we have one of each. It's nice. So we'll take grace. Uh, harmony. And peace. Looking good. So we'll start the mission. We must prepare to pay any price. Shall I call these entities my brothers? Flanking behavior. While a unit engaged in melee combat, attacks coming from the flank or the back will hurt more. Dies to appease suffering's ambition. How many more? All right, uh, so we have Harmony, which is a Blade Master. She has a Slash, she has the Imbued Blade, which is a delayed action, is a charge action. Uh, then we have Peace, which is our um, Shield Bearer. She can Slash, he, she also has... Um, oh, I cannot see them. Oh, it's oh, it's because it's not her turn yet. Okay, I see. Where are the enemies? We have one here and there, and that's it. Can we check the movement? Yes, we can. We can check the movement, so they can reach here. All right. We'll move here and wait. Uh, Peace has the lunge, which uh, she may like 
jump and attack. I don't know. We have the slam. So this is the shield slam that we used to do with her mother. So she has a sing uh, simple attack and then she has the um, shield slam ability. These guys can move here, so I want to position here. Then Grace is our soul linger. She has the intercepting round. Interruption. Interrupt the first attack of an ally on an ally within a range of 10 and deals up to 266 damage two times. And she has a normal shot. So none of them will be able to attack this turn, I don't think. So... I think I'll just move here. And just finish the turn. Let them act. This guy's dead. Yeah, these guys are playing smarter. And uh, this guy right here can attack. Yeah, these two can attack from distance, which is uh, dangerous. So I think I'm going to move Harmony to the back. Yeah, but only... W oh, okay, I see. So I only have the advantage on uh, flanking when they're already engaging in melee. Alright, I see. So we'll slash. Still alive. We'll end the turn. Preserve AP. Uh, peace will then move and lunge. You can't stop progress. The cure will be found. He was backstabbed, and she's already bursting. Memories of another life. Guard them well. Uh, then I'm going to move here. We'll wait for them to come to us. Yeah, I should have gone for the intercept round. Oh no, he's going for the delayed action. That's okay. So, uh, we're gonna just going to take shots at it. That's sick. Shoot again. Shred them down. And then we go for the The doctor has sent a new atrocity. Intercept round. Delayed action. So we're gonna go here. And let's test something. I'm going to go for a imboot blade. Then I'm going to move here. I'll go for the lunge. Oh, it's Oh, she's really strong. She's really strong. Okay. I thought she was not going to kill. Oh, that guy's strong, dude. That guy is actually really strong. I'll move here and finish the turn. Okay, that, that's... We are learning. We are learning. Okay. Uh, can we take shots? Not really. I, I think I'll just... Uh, 
We'll go for the intercept round. No. I'm gonna finish the turn. Uh, this guy... Let's not walk inside his range. Let's just uh, prepare. And uh, I think I'll just finish turn with peace here. Let's see if we can get peace to move first. Oh. We're gonna move melee with him because I kind of want to inflict the. Holy shit, he's really tanky. Really tanky. Okay. No, I actually want to move here. No, he will attack first. Unless we deal the shield thing to delay his action. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the shield thing with um, peace. And then we will preserve AP. Yeah, that was a good play. And uh, peace is the next one. So, I think we should just lunch, right? Or we we'll just keep uh, pushing him uh, down the turn list. Let's not burst, let's finish the turn. And uh, let's slash. One less to plague the innocent. Okay, that was pretty good. Okay, we got some achievements or some achievement progression. Uh level two. For both of them, from what I am understanding. Come what may, we will slow suffering's progress. Okay. First victory. A recollection ends if you have no way to continue. If you get beaten by a boss, or if you choose to end it yourself. This will let you start a new try on the first day, and it gives you access to more uh, shards. Resources that you gain from missions and can use to buy remembrances, power-ups. Select the next day. You can only move to the next day after closing at least one synapse. Rest your daughters. Daughters need to rest. They cannot fight more than once per day. Select next day. You can only move to next day after closing at least one synapse. Okay. Learn a new skill. One of your daughters can learn a new skill in combat. In the inner void. Enter the inner void. Select a daughter. Uh, observe her in more detail to learn more about her. Here you can see your daughter's stats, traits, and skills. Skills can be unlocked by reaching new levels of mastery and upgraded uh, with memories. Open the traits tab. The daughter has 
The daughter has earned a new trait reflecting what she has experienced. Traits cannot be removed or changed, even in death. Skill selection. Each time you unlock a new skill, you have to choose between two different abilities. So she has Shadow Round. This is the Soul Slinger. Uh, deals up to 236 damage uh, to enemy in range, taking damage from a... Wait. Deals up to 236 damage to enemy in range, taking damage from an ally. Has a range of 7. Okay, so when an enemy takes damage from an ally, then they will shoot to deal more damage. Okay, this is a reaction. This is a cool ability. Or a Wrathful Rain. Uh, deal up to 336 AoE damage, then move to an empty tile. Instant reaction. Okay, so we can use it on our turn. Alright, I see. So it deals AoE and uh, retreats. Hmm. 35 AP or 5% HP. I feel this one is like more useful, but at the same time, this one is, uh, is pretty good to get out of uh, sticky situations. But I don't like like spending HP. <laughs> it doesn't sound too good. But I will take it in case we really need to kill something. But this is really good as well. Yeah, we'll take Shadow Round. Uh, now we have the other daughters that also need to learn skills. Um, Harmony is our Blade Master. Uh, Lightning Strike. Dash 5 tiles to do up to 378 damage, has a range of 5. So basically she dashes and attacks. Cost 30 AP. This is good because uh, it um, saves AP on moving. So this is really good because we don't need to spend AP on moving as, as long as we like dash 5 tiles only to attack. This is really good. Uh, immovable stance is a reaction. React to enemy, finishing movement in melee range and do up to 508 damage so this is basically a bait uh, blade storm they get close we just um attack them this is a really tough choice both skills are really good but i, I like this one better and uh peace peace or should bear uh, she gets Blacksmith's Grace, 5% HP, Reaction, Self, Increase Armor by 180 and f for 40, and move up to 50 initiative units on the timeline for each incoming attack. So basically she gets tankier and progresses on the initiative for each attack that she tanks. Or shield bash and push target five tiles enemies pushed into each other or an object take up to 120 damage so basically we shield charge and if we push the um, the enemy into an object or another enemy they take additional damage yeah I'll take shield bash This daughter has earned a new trait reflecting when she... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see. Stats, traits. Okay, so Harmony earned a new trait. Um, damage plus 50. So she got plus 50 damage from her new trait. An animation so so great they look gorgeous they are really beautiful all right 
And uh, we could sacrifice or regenerate them. And by regenerate them, we would need to sacrifice another daughter. That's brutal. Memories recovered. Memories are obtained when killing certain enemies. They are upgrades you can assign to your daughter's skills. Adding various effects. Anything from increasing damage or defense to impact to impacting the timeline. Additionally, every memory unlocks a new part of the of the codex in the memory section. Learn a new skill. One of your daughters can learn a new skill in the inner void. Wait, what? But it just came from there. Okay, so this is the codex. So this is the end, the entries for uh, each daughter uh, class and uh, the enemies. And we have the remembrances. Remember. Uh, remembrances give you access to bonuses that last through the whole uh, recollection. A remembrance remains unlocked once it's unlocked, even if you start a new recollection. So recollection is basically a game, right? We will restart the game if we lose, and but all the remembrances we open will stay with us. So again, like a roguelike mechanic, this is like the permanent um, advancements that we get. Unlocking a remembrance doesn't activate it automatically. You must use shards to activate it. You earn shards every time you complete a mission, but you, your pool of shards is limited to those you had at the start of the recollection. Once you start a new recollection, you get access to all your, your earned shards. Oh, okay, I see. So shards are earned towards the next recollection, not the current one. And when we start a recollection, we can only use the shards we had when we started it. It makes sense. So this is, again, another thing that uh, is only towards the next recollection. So the game fully expect us, expects us to die really soon. That's interesting. Uh, start a run with two memories. We have no shards. But we could activate it because it costs like zero shards. Memory is recovered. Memories are obtained in killing sinner enemies. They are upgrades. You can set your daughter's skills adding various effects. Okay, so same thing. Why it keeps saying that? Okay, because I have uh, codex entries that I didn't check. Okay. Hmm. Memories. Memories of the mother. Re Recalling memories by slaying enemies will unlock a chapter of the mother's history. Oh, okay, I see. We're gonna have to check on these uh, later. I do want to read this, but uh, we'll do this on a an episode like dedicated to it, maybe. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, when when could we do this? And characters, it opens up here as well. Scavenger. Okay. All right. And I can start a new recollection um, even without losing the daughters. Interesting. Let's, it, let's visit the inner void. Should we like uh, create another daughter? Give life to our daughters. Because how many how many synapses we would have on this next day? Only one, and we can only send three daughters anyway. 
All right, so I feel that we like passed the tutorial, like the first tutorial part. Oh yeah, we have a three maximum dollars as well. Um, I think this is an excellent uh, time to finish the first episode. This is going to be a series. We are going to go through this. We're going to end this. Um, so far, the game looks amazing and it sounds amazing too, the mechanics, right? Um, it's really like a roguelike. It combines elements of tactical, uh, tactical games like XCOM and uh, other uh, similar games. Uh, it has a very uh, interesting depth to it. Not only on the battle, but uh, also on the strategic layer. It, it has an, a strategic layer that you uh, progress permanently by resetting the game. Just like a roguelike. So yeah, it, 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 it's really cool, dude. I'm, I, I'm digging it. I, I, I really like it. I think I really like it. Uh, let me know, guys, what you think. We'll keep playing this. This is going to be another series of the channel. Uh, but yeah, for today at least, for now, this is it for the first episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave the comment on the comment section below. Uh, tell me what you think about the game. And uh, if you have any tips, uh, no spoilers though. If you have any tips for me, on things to do, on things, and on how to progress. Let me know. Uh, don't forget to smash like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Join my Discord if you haven't. Uh, follow me on uh, the Twitch channel if you haven't. And uh, yeah, this is Duma. I'm signing out. Much love as always. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.